Ladies and gentlemen, do I have a game for you? This game is packed full to the brim. So for anyone who is a EU West fan, you will surely find what you are looking for in this game. We have, first of all, and we're going to start with that, of course. First of all, we have a jungler that is playing Kiana, and you might recognize the name. It is Billy Butcher, but XD. That is going to be G2 Yike with, you also probably figured, within the bottom lane, Billy Butcher, which is the Zaya, and that is going to be Mickey X. But not only that, in the mid lane, we have Wesley Warren Jr. And little quiz for anyone who knows, write it in the comments. If you don't, that is going to be humanoid. So, we have a pretty stacked team here on this side. On the other side, we have... Oh, <laughs> well, we have... Uh, who probably is Shay Clone. Uh, I've heard birds whisper me. Um, <laughs> big problem, this guy. But, uh, you know, we'll see. He's a pretty good Shaco player. And so, we will see. Alright, Billy Butcher is going to start on his red buff without a leash, actually. So, interesting. Starting W, obviously, grabbing the grass element. Makes sense so far. Because in the bottom lane, Zaya and Karma going off against Varus and the Glask. Karma lane should be able to grab the Pryo here. Just because Karma has her Q coming up. Yep, yeah, that is... Going to be a okay trade, as in the mid lane also we have fucking Zack, which is a champion that I've started banning, because it's a fun champion. Alright, so Kiana, we are doing our Grump, which means that we are going to move in to grab the wolves after, not possible to counter gank bot lane anymore at this point. However, obviously, in this case, it isn't necessary. However... That could have been necessary, but we decided to... Uh, we re-reset the camps. <laughs> the guy hasn't played in a while. Excuse me. So, we are going to have a look at what exactly this game has to offer. There's obviously a Kiana in the jungle. Pretty hype, right? Silas, obviously pretty good at dodging out those Sackies. We have some heavy trading going on in the mid lane, but yeah, Shaco, the Ignite, the death, it all happened all at once. Shaco gonna help out push as Billy Butcher. I don't really do much. Yeah, it's a Kiana first clear is absolutely useless, so you just... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Shaco. Mr. Shaco. Billy Butcher will pick up a kill onto the enemy jungler. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, <laughs> the Shaco doesn't really have the best jungle checking, eh? Kind of much faster at clearing the jungle than he thought, I guess. That's just... Very, very late queue over there to, to steal the red buff, though. As in the bottom lane, we have a lot of action, as Varus will go down. And... The... Uh, ah! Renata Glask will be able to get away. Shaco surely picks up a kill for himself here. Probably two. Nope. That is just one kill, but it is counter-traded by the Zaya. Getting the Renata Glask as well. So that is, after all, a pretty decent situation here. And um, here now we have a little bit of cheesiness going on by Billy Butcher. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be rough, man, because Shaco isn't showing up anytime soon. Shaco isn't planning to show up anytime soon. Who cares about his red buff? Yeah, he's just. <laughs> he's just. Ay, 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 Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
Is this what it looks like? Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Not a good look. Okay. Renata now going to help out. Obviously, the second that Mr. Billy decides to go over and use his spells as Mickey X. <laughs> Playing that roaming AD carry style. Right now. The bind will hit. Shaco will jump out. The karma binding does connect and that is a kill onto the Shaco. Zack passive will be procced. Humanoid will be able to make it out here as well and Zack will go down as well. That is two kills already going over to Mickey. As actually a beautiful roam. They all, they all show up mid lane and just take out the enemy. Which I find very interesting that... Kiana hasn't recalled yet, which Kiana does have very heavy scaling on her abilities. So just having your jungle item hurts Kiana much more than some other champions. So yeah, that's pretty rough as we do have a good trade here for the bottom lane. Varus in a lot of trouble, but ugh, he will be able to lash out last second. Unlucky. But no Renata available. Shaco moving his way to the top lane as uh, definitely not Chovy. Will be mm, questionable box placement, but definitely not Chovy. Chovy will be in a lot of trouble. The storm is dodged out, but Yasuo has 20,000 dashes and can just play this one out. Ooh, beautiful slide over. Good Q by the Shaco. As we will take him down eventually. Come on. And Zaya are going to recall. As finally Renata has arrived in the bottom lane again. Took quite the hi hiatus from being down there. Alright. So Silas. I mean. Silas mid lane kind of feels bad. A lot of the time, unless you're building Rod of Ages or something, but then you are missing a lot of early game power that you would like to have as uh, Karma and Kiana are ready to counter gank. Humanoid initiating here and that is Shaco going down. Humanoid not going to be tanky enough and Billy Butcher will not find the ultimate angle. That is too bad. As uh, it, uh, I wouldn't try to fight this yet. This sec. That is not. That's not what you want to do. It's Shaco. Will pop the flash out of the karma. Varus being able to take down Mickey. Because Varus is a balanced champion. Hmm. Yeah, this is rough, man. So, yike. Still has this ultimate available. Looking for a good target, but right now there's just none. Which uh, does kind of suck. Alright. Gotta pick up. Mm, yeah, versus Shaco. I mean, that's gonna be rough. Karma spotting out Shaco. The ultimate comes out, the Q comes out, and that is a dead Shaco if I've ever seen one. That is totally fine. Questionable ward. I agree. As that means, obviously, Yike can be able to, or will be able to pick up the dragon here. Fading Vision would have spotted that for the blue team, however. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, this, this one just goes down without contest. Karma? Hmm. Oh. Okay. I mean, Virus Ultimate. That's a good proc. Yeah, that's definitely very good. Shaco will move in to the Kiana's camps now. Try to steal something away here, but won't be able to take more. It's obviously Kiana already running the Eclipse here. Yeah, we both see each other. Two junglers looking at each other. As, um, yeah, we saw him. 
Just let the, re the red buff reset. Shaco. Oh, big mind game. Going to throw the E. Kiana ultimate is not yet available, but is also one of these skills that can be dodged out very easily here as the Yike just has to give. Shaco, ignite, and that is a dead Kiana. Oh no. Oh no. You disrespected the Shaco. Okay, gotta be very careful here. Yasuo flash. As, mm, humanoid shows up, but this is still a man at disadvantage here, so. Nothing to be too happy about when it comes to fighting this one. As obviously Shaco also has been sitting in this place for such a long time that you can expect him to have a good amount of boxes. Okay. Kiana now finally available. The boxes. What? Ex excuse me. What just happened? That was W into just Q, right? She literally just Q'd. Oh, okay. That was literally just a Q out of Kiana. The ultimate will not catch Zack. Too bad. Too bad, but that's actually a really, really cooldown going down as uh, Yike will move his way over to change his mind to the Scuttlecraft, not the Gromp. And uh, ooh, top lane's not looking too good, huh? Top lane is not looking too good. Shaco. Move over into the bottom side of the jungle. Red control ward will spot him out as he knows that there is a ward here. Humanoid leading him straight to the Herald, but... Shaco doesn't want to get it. So it is not happening. Hmm. Not too much going on there. As we will pick up an eye of the Herald. Can ultimate not yet available. Humanoid, gonna find himself in trouble here, as Jaco just comes in and picks up the kill. Double ward action, as Zack is doing very, very well for himself. Just baiting Humanoid into every single chat. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, you have to think as Yike, you have to think that uh, something is afoot here. Shaco instead, in the bot lane, is going to find a gank. Renata ultimate is going to catch Karma and get her back into trouble. Mickey X, ulting the wrong way. And will be able to trade at least one kill against two. But that is a double kill for the Varus, who now is 5-1. and one. Not the best of times. As Yike will pick up his last camp and move his way down to the bottom lane. Picking up a Coalfields Warhammer second. Very interesting. Generally. Um, I liked to use Eclipse on Kiana in the jungle. However, nowadays it doesn't give Omni Bump anymore. I don't like it as much anymore. Now Prowler's Claw to me seems superior. But, you know. I've, I've played a lot of Kiana and for, for me it works much better because you have a lot of options to avoid stuff like Shaco boxes and so on. Alright, Humanoid setting up for a beautiful Yasuo combo as a... Okay. Zack will go down. Yeah, and that is the Rift Herald summoned in the mid lane and that means we can get the, the dragon here. Yasuo getting right... To business with humanate, humanoid rotating here to the top lane. I mean, Renata ultimate not really relevant. 
He could have used the Renata ult instantly there and he would have had her attack him instead of the turret, by the way, I think. Because I think it prioritizes champions over turrets, so... That would have worked out, but... Okay. Little disaster here in the mid lane again, but the dragon still goes over to the red team, so that is at least something. Shaco just gonna clear his way through the jungle. Six kills already picked up. As after the Dusk Blade, he is now going to go for an Essence Reaver here. Demonic Embrace deck. What a disgusting character. Aye, aye, aye. It, it is kind of hype to watch. Because it's like... It's the kind of pick that just causes trouble 24-7. But I hate to play against it. Because it's just... It's so oppressive. You just don't deal damage to it. It's, it's a little akin to set. To set. Yeah, nothing comes of it though. As uh, ooh, the Eclipse Varus obviously clips much better on Varus nowadays. Much better than it used to be at least. Skana will get out with a kill on Zack, but Shaco is close. Oh, you... Ah, you tried. But unfortunately, it won't be enough. Flash out of the Yasu will... Probably get him to safety here. Smiki X is showing up for the Fiesta. Will take down his own support. The Feathers not going to be able to take down Varus, and that means a double kill for the Shaco. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. These fights are not looking very good. Smiki X also not staying up in farm nearly as well as you would want as an AD carry. Which is pretty rough. Varus doing very, very good for himself. And obviously Shaco as well. As, uh, yeah, this game is looking troublesome. Humanoid, absolutely not having the game of his life. And I would say that Yike is doing pretty good. You know, he's in a good situation, uh, situation I would say. But Mickey. Mickey needs to get more farm. Moving into the side lane. Don't know about that one. Uh, this is where he will be able to pick up some more farm here. Can deal a decent amount of damage to Zack actually. But uh, yeah, you're just you're just not gonna kill him. Between his ultimate and his ability to get out, you're just It's gonna be hard. Alright, so Kiana very strong at killing Varus, however. Varus currently in a safe spot here has the bailout as well as Zack almost taking down Mickey X but Mickey X will remain victorious as the blue team is entirely in the top side of the map so Mickey X is fine to push out here. Humanoid in a scary situation but no handshake will come out and we have to be very careful here handshake onto Yasuo. The Varus ultimate will land, yeah, and this is an easy dive with Bailout obviously also being available. That is going to be very, very rough. Yeah. Varus ultimate just too strong. That's me, Shaco. Don't we all love this champion? Ay, ay, ay. Dusk Blade and Essence Reaver. He's going for maximum Q, Q potential, eh? It's gonna be interesting. I mean, it's pretty rough for Mickey X to deal with that, to be honest. As obviously he ults and Shaken just plays boxes and then ult the feathers. That is how you do it. Mm, yeah. Gotta respect the Zack. Okay. 
So Kiana ultimate. One Q will miss, which means X doesn't go down. Kiana ultimate, pretty good against tanks. Does do a good amount of damage against tanks. This Zaya will be traded here for the Gwen. That is a good trade. However, Yasuo ends up going down as well. As uh, ooh, we are in a lot of trouble now. Shaco bailout has been used which means that now Varus is kind of vulnerable there is a flash available for yike so he could be able to eq a strong in a strong situation here using a lot of river eqs the chains of corruption will not hit a target zack ultimate still available teleport coming through here from the blue team that is gwen showing up to the fight again as this fight took so long that gwen has been able to respawn and teleport back in shaco will pick up the kill onto the karma shaco will go down here though yikes surviving with just a little bit of hp and the only thing that shaco can think there is okay i'm sorry um so now the question is there is no jungler available but our jungler has 2 hp handshake will get zaya into trouble zaya goes down once again mickey x not looking too hot on that champion yeah that's uh, that's pretty rough because now yeah i mean you are a jungler yeah you are alive yeah there is no smite on the enemy team also though news flash three of the enemy team bailout program still available probably yeah bailout program available again bailout program that is a mix of loyalty program and bailout yeah you had a really good one there what yike what oh yeah that is blue team ward actually that is not his ward so he just went in blind okay not too bad that's pretty rough because he would have gotten a kill if he went in earlier he would have 100 killed the oh, humanoid okay humanoid trading trading back strong but shaco better at using the clone the w though silas incredibly strong and yep that is a kill onto the shaco and that's just gotta be a tilter as shaco yeah, you want anti-heal versus this miscreant of a champion. Obviously ridiculously tanky with a rod of ages and Zonyas. You just barely can't kill this thing. Last Whisper now available here as we're going on Mega Armor Pen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we need that much Armor Pen, to be honest. There are some items here that can be pretty sick. Yomus being one of them, Edge of Night being the other one. Uh, it is what it is. Especially, yeah, Yomus, especially since we don't have Prowler's Claw. It's gonna be so hard to even get close to the Varus without Prowler's. Because otherwise you can just E onto the Renata, Prowler's to him. Stuff like that, right? Not gonna be available this time. As Chains of Corruption are ready and they are hunting. We'll find the Karma. But this is no AP Varus. Kama will be able to live for now. A Zek damage coming out. The healing reduced the percent health damage. But Zek will be able to... Oh, actually, Zek goes down to the Kiana Q. Max range Kiana Q. As uh, bailout program will not save him. I called it bailout program again because I'm a professional caster. It is not called loyalty program. It is called bailout. Full stop. Right. So, Varus now on the back foot with his support and mid laner dead. Shaco still available for the blue team, and so far there isn't really going to be a good contest here at the Baron. But we have a fight in a pretty, pretty good choke here for the Varus and for the oh humanoid for the Var for the Varus and for the Gwen. As Gwen will be able to pick up another kill humanoid goes down to the shaco various damage should be pretty good here kiana is sitting over the wall ready to delete one but now 
no abilities available anymore and the flash into the wall yeah a bit of a questionable flash he could have gotten the varus um he could have altered the varus there but uh, no prowler's claw available of course because uh, you know we, we had to go eclipse this is exactly the reason right flash prowler's claw varus is dead 100 you don't you know there's no two ways about it but It is what it is, as the blue team will now pick up the Baron for themselves. At least they will start attacking it. I'm not expecting them to be able to pick it up. However, it is still possible. Karma Ultimate. Okay, Renata Glass, Karma Ultimate, Humanite going in and Renata Glass will take down the Baron. As at least Humanite manages to trade himself for the Zek 0, 7 and 6, but Zek has had decent impact on the game anyhow so. it looks bad but it isn't nearly as bad as Shaco getting himself ready to scam someone as a good Shaco player would be right so we will see whether or not he will be able to control ward has been picked up Ooh, big damage onto the Zaya here as the ultimate comes out you have to be careful with karma obviously as she can bind you but this is, yeah, this is one kill minimum here for the Shaco. And that is pretty rough. Karma going down. And Mickey X so low that he can't be able to do much anymore. Yeah, he isn't able to do anything. Which is rough. Yeah, Yike also finds himself in a troublesome situation now. And that means that the dragon... Straight up just goes over as we have a fight here in the top lane. Zack doing the bouncy bounce. This is, uh, yeah, this is a very hype fight always between Yasu who life steals for a million for auto attack and Zack. Who regains health on each ability pretty much. If he picks up the blobs. But... You get it, I get it, we all get it, okay? I understand. We have a little bit of a flank angle here. Gotta be careful though. As, uh, yeah, I mean, Renata Glask will pick up Silas. Shaco goes down though, and we have a potentially really good engage here. Yeah, ultimate onto the Varus. Bailout is available. I stopped myself from saying program again. And nothing will come of it except the Varus flash. 11, 1, and 12, 1, and 11. Very good virus. That's holy moly, dude. Just speaks to how strong Bailout is and also speaks to the fact that Eclipse is a trash item on Kiana in situations like this one. Because you... Eh. This, is, this is what I always find myself struggling with is there are so many situations where you can use a Prowler's Claw and it's just so much better. Um, because that extra dash can go long, long ways for you obviously this fight it wouldn't have really made a difference so that's fine the chains of corruption will not find a target but the q does huge damage actually by the piercing arrow that is going to be humanoid trading half of his full of his hp for about 10 percent of the oh beautiful Ki kiana ultimate here as mickey x will run for his life oh and he will barely get out and yeah, this is Kiana and Silas already going down. Mickey X also very, very low here. Needs to go back to base because otherwise it is absolutely over here. Looking like a very difficult game though. As obviously Gwen and Varus are incredibly fed. Not even speaking of the Sheku who is also doing quite well for himself. But nearly as crazy as the Varus. Big shutdowns though. So... Put Gold swings are possible. It's just going to be very difficult because there is a 10k gold lead here available for the blue team. But I, I've seen games like this uh, turn around in solo queue. This is, uh, this is very possible, you know? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows as... Yike, coming back to a jungle that is cleared out with Shaco running circles around him. 
and picking up a kill onto the Karma. So that is very favorable. Hmm. All right. Yike gonna get himself out of that sticky situation. Zeki, huh? So weird. So freaking weird and so strong. Zek will go to bounce. That is a huge Zek As Mickey X in a lot of trouble here. Shaco will find him. And that is Kiana going down as well for sure. The Zek will be able to flash the first Q, I think. No, the second Q. So he will be alive as well. That is Shaco now starting work on the Karma. The clone tanking, but yeah. Nothing, nothing comes of it. As Yasu doing his best actually to prevent them from finishing. And so far he's doing a good job, to be honest. Little grief from Varus. As the Gwen teleport coming through. We'll find Humanoid, Humanoid and Varus now. Varus? Humanoid and Yasu now reunited. As Gwen, will they chase to the Silas, but good luck chasing the Silas. Yasuo barely getting out and running for his life right now. Karma Shield will speed him up as Shaco is looking for Humanoid, but will just be taken down by a singular Q here. As, uh, yeah, Gwen just being untargetable. Mm, good damage by Yike, but now he is alone. So that is going to be very rough. Yeah, so should be able to hold this though. So maybe we can get a... Maybe we can get a kill onto someone. Hmm. This would have been huge. Imagine you have your ultimate. You're like sitting there and you just hold both of them to the wall. Control ward will give away the position here of Kiana. This ward being disabled in a second as well. As, ooh, you can one shot her here. Oh no, ultimate available. Oh, that's a tragedy. As, yeah. Oh, the chains will find you. Yeah, with ultimate, you can't do anything there. As, uh, yeah. Our three heroes here are just struggling to finish the wave. No chains of corruption available. Silas chains will not hit either though. As uh, Yumina just goes down in the, what was a very questionable play. Miki getting a lo little bit of damage onto... Getting caught out by the chains again. I don't even know what to say at this point. Like, at this point, they're just getting farmed. Like, 19, 1, and 13 Varus, dude. What the hell? Alright, Baron empowered minions are going to siege down the first turret. Yasu, pretty decent at clearing them, but nowadays these minions are also incredibly strong. Ooh, that could have been so good. It ended up being absolutely nothing. Bailout has been used. So that will only be available in like, what, eight seconds or something again? Yeah, something like that. As Humanoid finds good damage onto the Shaco here. But that is going to be the finish of the Nexus. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.